so as I said we're going to be crocheting the Solomon's Net and Flower stitch here. So I'm just making a slip knot onto my crochet hook and I'm going to be making a lengthened chain. So I'm going to pull the yarn through as if to just chain but as I do so I lengthen it to about two centimeters. Now I'm going to hold on to, as I pull the next stitch through, I'm going to hold on to it here and I'll show you why in just a moment. As you pull it through, hold on to it so you make like a teardrop shape because then I need to go through this gap here, pull another loop through and then go through the two stitches. There's a knot, there's our first knot. So again, lengthened to about two centimetres pull the loop through, creating that little shape to go into the gap, bring it through, two loops on the crochet hook and then through both. Length and chain again, through, through the gap, bring it through so you've got two loops on and then through both. Let's do one more. So lengthen to about two centimetres, through the gap, bring it round so I've got two loops and then through the two. Now I'm showing you here with DK, you'll be using fine weight yarn if you're going to be crocheting the scarf. Um, it's just so that you can see a little bit better what I've done there. So I've created four knots with length lengthened chains in between. So now I'm just going to show you how you're going to go back into these knots as you're crocheting the scarf. So to do that we just do two or three short chains, not as short as a normal chain, just as we were doing with the lengthened, but about one centimetre this time. That's one, and there's two, pull it through to create another knot, and then three. There we go. And I'm just going to show you how you're then going to go back into the fourth knot that we created. So let's go back into this one down here. In through the knot. You don't have to be too specific. Your, your needle will just kind of find a place. There we are. So I've got two loops on the crochet here can I come through twice and there we go there's the beginnings of the of the structure of the scarf so now we need to do two lengthen chains again and another one do a drop shape through the gap bring it around through and then we're going to go back into the next knot along. There we go. Bring it through and through the two. So you can see, oh, that, that knot there needs a little bit of a tightening up. But as you can see, there are the beginnings of my crochet net and flower scarf. It doesn't look too much right now, but once you've done 72 chains, I think, um, it's really gonna look quite beautiful, quite structural. Um, as you're crocheting, it is fiddly, but once you get into a rhythm, you'll find you'll get into a rhythm. So that's the Solomon's net and flower.